Welcome. Before running Configuration 2, please check the guide for installing USB drivers in Configuration 2. Make sure they are installed on your computer. Once we open the Configuration 2, check the box for AutoConnect. The software should be able to recognize and show information about the device on the bottom left corner of the software, including device name, IME number, hardware version, firmware version, and SIM card information. In mo most cases, AutoConnect should be able to connect your computer to the device. If not, choose the serial port, baud rate, device mode, and uh, device model, and the unit system you want to use. The default password is 0123456789. Then press connect. In the system, check box for all means select this to check mark to all commands in utility. This can only be used in advanced mode. In this video, we'll stay stick with the basic basic configuration mode. Read all means read all the global setting of device at a time. Write all means write all the changes on each tab will save to the device at a time. Import will import global setting from computer to current device. Export will export the global setting from current device to the computer as a TXT file. Basic means the basic configuration to interface display. Parameter file is used to load parameter file existing on your computer even without connecting to a device. The first command is APL. This command is to sp sp specify SIM card according to your Location device has stored a lot of mobile networks APN information around the world to automatically fulfill APN information once a SIM card is inserted. Select your country and then click right at the bottom. Review at the review all the support networks for each country and add more based on your need. This is the file you can edit. The second command is APN command. APN command is to insert your APN information, name and passport if required by your carrier provider. When a SIM card is insert, device can recognize the APN information of SIM card automatically. If you want to write a new APN, a SIM card must be inserted into the device. SVR command is to set up periodic per periodical report to host server. If disable is selected, device will not report period periodically to server mode. Will specify the data transfer protocol, TCP command and UDP command means only command interaction will use TCP. Regular data transfer report will stick with UDP to save on data flow. Disable device will not require uh, an acknowledgement package response from server to deliver next position package enable for UDP when using UDP server or when using UDP device will require ACK package respond from server to deliver next position package and enable for UDP and TCP when using UDP or TCP device will require the acknowledgement package respond from server to deliver the next position package Next one is ACK. If you check the box for uh, check the yes, 
issued the the UDP acknowledgement package should come with sequence number theme. DNU command will set the report interval mode in switching condition it is valid for SMS and GPIS fixed time report. You will notice that SMS report and GPIS server report have two report intervals, static and dynamic mode. For SVP0, it stands for the dynamic report interval mode. Device is able to switch between static mode and dynamic mode according to the vehicle status change. For example, if the parking box in the DNU is checked, dynamic report would come in when the car is not parking and statics report only when the car is parked. Notice you can choose multiple conditions if any of them is true. The device will send dynamic report. SVP1 means this command is to set periodical dynamic report to server. You can set up the interval, the time unit, report mode, and data format for both static report and dynamic report. You can choose disable in report mode to disable the report, uh, disable the dynamic or static report. GPS fire means that if the GPS data is available, LBS load data would not be sent. If you choose GPS and LBS data, both data will be uploaded to the server. U UNO0 means uh, let you set up the user mobile phone number. This number is, this command is set the command path. To set up the phone number, please have the country code ahead. UNO0 command tell the device that it can receive command from this phone number. UPW0 is to set the command password for the number on last command. Default password is 1234. It means when you try to send command to device, it must carry the right password in command. Otherwise, device will not accept. All means you can check all the bosses in the basis configuration page. And read means that it will read all the data and value of selected tabs from the device. Write means write all the data into the device. Thank you very much.